Here are three stocks to buy who are successful consolidating their industries. These three stocks to buy are in various stages of their industry consolidation strategies. Hyotso Incorporated. It's got a seasoned team and plenty of cash to shake up the building products distribution market. Constellation Software. It makes software acquisitions easy. Pool Corp. It's got some competition, but its consolidation play remains intact. Let's dive in. Merger Mania. Here are the three stocks to buy as industries consolidate. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. A recent article from Barron's discussing Focus Financial Partners' consolidation efforts in the registered investment advisor industry. Now owned by private equity firms Clayton, Dubillier and Rice and Stonepoint Capital, it got me thinking about stocks to buy that are consolidating their industries. With interest rates higher, you would think that mergers and acquisitions would slow, but there will always be acquisitive types pursuing roll-up strategies on a regional and national basis. One only needs to look at the alcoholic beverages industry over the years to understand how consolidation has influenced the industry. Diageo was formed in 1997 through the merger of Grand Metropolitan and Guinness. In 2008, InBev merged with Anheuser Busch to form Anheuser Busch InBev. These are extreme examples in terms of deal size. Roll ups often involve smaller transactions over several years until economies of scale are reached. So, who are public companies consolidating industries in 2024? Here are my three stocks to buy. Number 1. Hiexo. On June 6, Humexo Incorporated, formerly known as Silversum Technologies, announced that it had closed its $1 billion equity investment, previously announced in April. Jacobs Private Equity put up $900 billion, while co-investors including Sequoia Heritage, an affiliate of Sequoia Capital, a leader in the venture capital industry, who've invested in startups such as Airbnb, shipped in the other $100 million. QSO is the brand child of Brad Jacobs, who has built several billion-dollar companies over the years, including United Waste, now part of Waste Management, United Rentals, and XPO. Jacobs used a combination of acquisitions and organic growth to build these industry-leading businesses. He's now set his sights on the building products distribution industry. QSO plans to become a tech-forward leader in the $800 billion building products distribution industry. The company is targeting tens of billions of dollars of annual revenue in the next decade through accretive acquisitions and organic growth, stated QXO's June 6 press release. In Bloomberg's Odd Lots podcast in January, Jacobs laid out his rationale for going after a big piece of this market. He pointed out that there are 7,000 distributors in North America and 13,000 in Europe, most of which are privately owned. Create a public company to execute the roll-up strategy and then integrate technology into every aspect of its business and, in the process, totally modernize the building PRID distribution industry, making billions for shareholders. What's not to like? Number 2. Constellation Software Constellation Software is a Toronto-based company that has been consolidating vertical market software businesses since its founding by venture capitalist Mark Leonard in 1995. Today, it has six operating platforms catering to virtually every industry imaginable, consisting of more than 800 companies participating in over 100 vertical markets. One of the positives of the consolidation strategy, if you're buying right, is the human capital you gain from these acquisitions. Yes, you're buying software assets and intellectual property, but you're also acquiring the talented people that built those assets. The Economist wrote about Constellation last November, calling it the tech version of Berkshire Hathaway, I would agree with that characterization. Like Berkshire, but in contrast to private equity or VC funds, Constellation has no exit clock ticking. It can thus be patient with investment decisions. Mr. Leonard's annual letters to investors echo Mr. Buffett's in describing the company as a good perpetual owner. An investment in Constellation five years ago has appreciated by 211%, 2.5x the S and P500. As a result, it has the 11th highest market capitalization on the S and PTSX composite index. As long as Leonard is involved, Constellation remains one of Canada's best investments. Number 3. Pool Corp. I followed Pool Corp, the world's largest wholesale distributor of supplies and equipment, since before it changed its name from SCP Pool in 2006. In the five years between 2014 and 2019, Pool increased its sales by 42% to $3.2 billion, 
and its adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization by 79% to $382 million. It now generates 6% of its revenue outside North America, and that number is growing by the day I recorded in September 2020. In April, Pool & Spa News looked back on the industry consolidation that's taken place and is still taking place. At the end of 2020, Pool had 398 locations worldwide. That's grown to 442 as of March 31st. The company's biggest competitor, Heritage Pool Supply Group, has 115 locations across 32 states. SRS Distribution, which owns many construction-related distribution and wholesaling businesses, also owns Heritage. It, in turn, is owned by Los Angeles private equity firm Leonard Green & Partners, who acquired SRS for over $3 billion in 2018. SRS launched Heritage in August 2021. Home Depot just acquired SRS for $18.25 billion, including the assumption of debt. Despite Poole having Home Depot as a competitor, it continues to add approximately 10 locations annually, using a disciplined approach to acquisitions. Its 2014 operating margin was 8.4%. In 2023, it was 13.5%. It expects to continue pushing this higher in the years ahead. Poole is the ultimate consolidation play. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.